Hey you guys, what's up? I'm just playing, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tosh. I know I look a little uh, different today. I'm just super comfy in my nightie. Um, but we're gonna do an eyeshadow palette declutter. It's a very quick video. Um, I've been wanting to get rid of some more stuff, so that's why I decided to just bring you guys this video. Like I said, it's super quick, um, but I'm really, really happy with the results. I think if I continue to do this on a regular basis, I think my collection will get to where I'm like, I still have a big collection, Avi, but I'm not so overwhelmed by it every time I come in this room. So. If you're ready for a declutter, uh, grab yourself a snack, a drink, and let's go on and get to decluttering. All right, guys, so I've started, uh, well, decided to start in this drawer right here. Um, <laughs> this is a lot of like my lower end stuff, drugstore stuff, things like that. So, always hard for me to go through this drawer and it's because it just has so many things in it that I love but I'm not reaching for so I see no point in keeping them I'm gonna get rid of this super shock it's a limited edition by Colourpop and it is in I think birthday treat you guys don't mind the lighting this I'm just keeping it because it's pretty I never reach for this and this is in fizz so I'm going to let that go. Don't mind my hands, you guys. They're super dry. This one I actually kind of reach for sometimes, so I'm going to put it back for now. And then I've also got another one in Blitzen. It's really pretty, but I never reach for these. So, um, yeah. I've also got this glitter that I never reach for. It's time to go. And I do have several pigments back here. I'm going to play with these more so this summer. So I'm going to keep a hold on those for now. Um, these I use for like dollar store videos and stuff. So I am going to hold on to those. Because they launch these every year. Usually around the holidays. LA Colors does. And then I've got all my Believe Beauty ones. <sighs> Too hard to let them go yet. <laughs> Now, for these Wet n Wild, I think since they've come out with these, I don't need this formula anymore. So I'm probably going to hold on to my limited edition ones because the three that I'm reaching for right now, these are all brand new and I've never used them as of yet. Um, comfort Zone, I'm going to let go. This is so hard for me. <laughs> uh, not a basic peach I actually like, so I'm going to keep that one. This one in Stop Playing Safe. If you guys remember the hunt that I went on for these, it's so hard to let them go. But I don't reach for them. So letting that one go. This one here, uh, VIP Purple, I'm actually going to keep because I do like this one a lot. And then I also like my Glamour Squad, but I think I'm going to let it go since I have the Anastasia... Um, what do you call that? The Anastasia. I can see it in my head. Anyways, it's duping that. So I'm going to let this one go. This one I'm going to keep still because I love the color story in Cosmic Collision. And since I have uh, Modern Renaissance, I'm going to let this one go, which is Rosé in the Air. And then I love Nude Awakening, but I have their new formula somewhere. I think... Is this it? Yeah, I have the new one, so I'm just going to let the old one go. It's such a beautiful palette, though. Oh, this is so hard for me, you guys. <laughs> but I have to do something because it's at that point where my collection is still not bringing me joy because I know how much is in here, so I, I have to do something. So I'm going to hang on to these. I still really, really love these palettes. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Coffee Cat one. It's beautiful, but I don't reach for it. And I have all of these colors in my collection. I'm also going to get rid of the old Comfort Zone. I had fun. Um, I do like this palette, but I don't reach for it. 
and I think I'm gonna let this one here go going wild it's beautiful it is but I don't reach for it it was a limited edition back in the day so there's those I kind of like this nude awakening um, it's really pretty but again I don't reach for it and I now have three versions of nude awakening like why why do I need three different versions that's just ridiculous <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. But do you guys see how they've changed over the years? So, yeah. Sorry about the lights, guys. I don't have all of my studio lights on in here, so... I'm talking myself into keeping this one. Why? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to keep the newer one as well, and I'm going to toss... Well, not toss, but I'm going to get rid of this one and pass it on. It's hard because it's so pretty, but I've gotten rid of all that so far. Ugh. Why I do this to myself, you guys. I'm going to get rid of Silent Treatment, even though it was one of my favorite trios. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one, which was also limited edition. This is in A La Costa, baby. <laughs> um, this one I think I might keep. Plaid to the Bone. I really like this, and I do reach for it sometimes. We're also going to get rid of this one. This one is pet, Petelet. Um, you can actually get this one now in the five pan. I'm also going to get rid of this one, which is Velour Vixen. If you're looking for these, usually you can find them on Amazon, which you're going to pay a pretty penny. This one I love, Flock Party. So I'm not getting rid of that, and I love this color right here. It's so gorge. Wow. <laughs> I've gotten rid of quite a bit. I've never been able to like have all this room in this drawer right here. The Wet n Wild has always been like shop hopping. It's crazy to look at that. Look at all the room. And I've still got room for my limited edition ones. Obviously, I need to clean that out because this one came broken, and then I passed my new one on to somebody else. So, these little guys down here, I think I'm going to keep these, and my other Wet n Wild Shadow Singles are over here, and this little guy right here. Um, this is like my AOA stuff, my favorite LA Colors quad, um, a hip dot which I don't even think I use this. I think I bought it because they were having a sale and I think the colors are pretty. Um, so I need to reach for that. We've got some more LA colors. All of the rest of these are in my other drawer that has like new makeup and stuff in it. Um, I really don't reach for these much either, but this foil is gorgeous. So I'm gonna stick it over here and this actually makes a really pretty highlight. I have like my Maybelline singles over here and then my L'Oreal um, Infallible, or is that what they're called? Yep, the L'Oreal Infallible, I love these. So love these too, I talk to you guys about these all the time. If you have not tried these, you are missing out. They are so good, so creamy, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of this drawer now. I feel pretty satisfied with all that I got rid of. So yeah. <laughs> I got rid of quite a bit. Um, I've got some more AOA stuff sitting over here. And you know what? I think I'm going to let this go. It's really pretty, but I haven't reached for this in a very long time. It's the Alme Ambition. So I like these um, little quads like this because they're a good one and done. But I don't reach for it. So, all right. We outie. This is the drawer that I hate, hate to dig into because there's a lot of my tried and trues in here, but I do not reach for them all. It's time to let go. So, keeping my two Forever Flawless palettes, I love these. These two anyway. I am going to finally declutter this Roxy Cozy Vibes. It's really pretty, but I don't reach for it, so there's no point me hanging on to it any longer. Um, my friend's Revolution one is down there. I do, I do like that palette. 
and that was actually given to me by a very good friend if you're watching hey girl hey um let's see <laughs> believe it or not i do reach for this it has some really good shadows in it this one is really pretty but i have not reached for this since the video i filmed so if i don't reach for this in the next couple of months it's gone that's really pretty too um keeping all of my amoris palettes you guys know i'm a huge huge fan of theirs um so i'm not gonna get rid of any of those as for profusion i think i'm gonna let one of these go I don't need all of their big palettes plus nine. I just, I don't need all of these. This is crazy. Um, that's the Glam palette right there, the Glam nine pan. And then I have Arctic in my hand that I'm trying to open. And I, out of the two of these, ah, uh, it's so hard. But out of the two, I think I would reach for this one just because it's different. And this one's more of stuff that I already have in my collection. So I'm going to let Glam go. Um, I forgot to put these two palettes back into the drawer. So this is all Profusion right here, but I have to keep it real. If I'm going to keep Profusion palettes, it's generally their larger palettes or these $5 ones here. Or, you know, like if they're limited edition like these. Okay. Um, I like my glitter ones and I love these 10 pan love this one this is actually really really good if you can still get a hold of this check their sales section but when it comes to duds for me it's usually these guys right here um there's not very many that i love so i'm gonna go through these this was my first um uh, what are these 20 shades 30 25 shades i think 21 shades, sorry. This was my first 21 shade, so I've held on to it for sentimental reasons, but it, we've had a good run. It's time to go. <laughs> These are not my favorite when it comes to Profusion shadows. So we're getting rid of Pro Pigment as well. I'm gonna hold on to Enchanted. It is all shimmers, kind of like the Metallics palette. Um, this one... I really wanted to love this one, but I don't. So I'm gonna let rid of, or get rid of Nude Bliss. And I think I'm also gonna get rid of Infatuation. You guys, I thought I would never get rid of these, but I am. <laughs> um, this one has some good shades in it, like truly. Um, I just, Oh, I don't know if I want to get rid of this one yet. We're going to keep this one for now. It's just usually these palettes, they just are not my favorite. I do have all of these larger palettes that they've ever come out with. It's just, I need to reach for them more. So, if you guys want a video using like Profusion palettes, please let me know. So I didn't do the greatest in this drawer. Um, so far I've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six palettes, which you guys know is pretty good for me. <laughs> pretty good. I could get rid of one of these, but I know I'm not going to because they're Amora. So let me just go ahead and get out of this drawer. Let's move on to the next one. This one, I have done such a good job of cleaning out. Um, but I know that there's still some palettes in here that I just don't reach for anymore. And so I think it's time to let them go. Um, here's all my ColourPop monochromatic ones. I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. Um, I really, really like the ColourPop formula. It's just like this guy right here. I bought this for a video. I never did the video because it's hard to fit everything in, truly. Um, so I just... I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I'm going to let this go. So let's run through here real quick. This one I actually do really like, and you can't get this anymore. I keep that. Those are all monochromatic. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep these. And I'm still going to keep the Tinkerbell one for now. Oh, these are Profusion. These go over here. I bet you guys were wondering where those were at. <laughs> They're right 
here. <laughs> and then this is not all my mega palettes. I think I have another one in my new, like in with my new stuff. So you guys know I was crazy about LA Girl, these pro palettes and stuff, but they ended up kind of pissing me off. Um, and so I just, I don't reach for these all the time. So I think we're gonna let some of these go as well. And it's probably gonna be the oldest ones. So let me take a look at these and I will bring you guys back out in just a moment. Okay, so this is really hard. This is the six that I used the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the ones that I know I will use. Um, and then ones that could be maybe be fun for videos. It's hard because looking at them, I don't want to get rid of any of them. <laughs> but I know I need to. Um, maybe I'm just not ready like I thought I was. Because I'm like looking at all the greens, the blues, the pinks, the purples. Um, yeah, I think maybe I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Let's be what it is and let's pull out the other ones because so far I'm looking at these and I'm like, I don't want to get rid of any of these colors. So, yeah, it's just not going to happen right now. I'm not ready. I think what we're going to get rid of is probably these two. These were really the ones that I just was not, like, they're okay, but they're not my favorite color story either. Plus, they came broken. There's some fun shades in them, but just... Not enough for me to warrant keeping them. It's really hard to open these one-handed. Yeah, see, I'm just not like, oh my gosh, I have to have that with like with the other ones. So let's get rid of the VIP and main stage. And yeah, if you guys notice, I haven't bought their newest ones either, and I probably won't. What I would like to do with these smaller palettes like this, but I'm so OCD about having brands with brands, is I want to make a full drawer of just like the smaller quads, the five pan stuff like that so that it's easier for me to reach for um, I know that there's some in here that I should let go of I don't know if I'm ready yet um, but we'll see so I think one of the reasons that I don't reach for stuff in both these drawers as much as I want to is because and this is gonna sound like I'm so overly lazy, but these palettes are not behind me anymore. Do you guys remember back in the day when I first got my Alex lookalike drawers that a lot of this stuff that I would reach for was right behind me? So I'm thinking maybe we need to do a studio move around day or whatever um, so that I'll reach for this stuff more because I'd like to have a drawer where I just rotate. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video on that. Um, so here's my mega palettes right here. I'm going to keep all of those. Your Golden, It's a Mood, The Jewel One, and Stone Cold Fox. You guys want to know a secret? I have not even used this one yet. <laughs> Terrible, I know. These are so hard to let go of. Comment down below if you still have these in your collection. And then BH. I don't reach for this anymore. It's fun, but I'm going to let it go. And these right here are fun. Um, I don't even think I've ever used the Los Angeles one, or I don't think I have. It's still got the plastic on it, I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, yeah, it does. But it's so fun. Like, look at those colors. I think I'm going to keep it for a while, especially since they're bankrupt right now. I think I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't reach for it. It's beautiful, but it's not a palette that I reach for. I mean, I had fun with it, obviously. Look at the mess, but um, I reached for this. Don't mind the mess, you guys. I've reached for this coral one quite a bit. I do like the Daisy Days. And then these are just uh, memories, really. <laughs> they need to go in the trash. But so, yeah, there's that drawer. I feel good about what we did so far, even though we've only gotten rid of like three gotta start somewhere right so let's go ahead and move on to the next drawer so like don't mind the mess guys um <laughs> i bet you're wondering where all my dossier perfumes well they obviously won't fit in there but um so anyway really quickly i'm sure you guys were wondering where all these larger palettes were they're up here wet and wild morphe uh profusion 
and then the Lisa Frank Morphe, and then my Jaclyn Hill Morphe's, and then of course, you guys know I love C color, C color, uh, more C color. <laughs> so those usually stay up here. I might move the bigger ones, but then my BH is here because it's so big that I leave it up here. And then here's some more C color and then revolution so just in case you guys were wondering where those are i do still have them i think i might go through these though and get rid of the ones that i already have the authentic version of which would be this one i have the uh anastasia riviera i think it's called so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and then i also have the jackie Ina palette which this one dupes beautiful formula though so not gonna lie it's hard to let this one go but now that i did my video for you guys and i know that you have a cheaper option um i feel good about it so this one i'm not gonna let go of um because this one's like pretty much all shimmers and the formula is to die for so i'm gonna put that one in here i like to keep all my revolution together so there's that bigger palette and then I don't use this Jeffree Star one, but I'm going to be real with you guys. People don't want this stuff. Like, I have tried to sell this, and people don't want it. I've tried to give it away. People don't seem to want it. So, I'm going to pull it out of there to get rid of it and whatnot, but we'll see. So then, yeah. Trying to make this a little bit neater. I thought I was going to be putting more stuff in here. But um, I might be able to fit some of these other palettes in there, though. Let's see. All right, so we're at another palette drawer. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here that I want to get rid of. No. And I usually don't get rid of my high-end stuff. Just because I worked my butt off for this stuff. So usually I make myself still reach for it. So I think we're going to be out of that one. Just so you guys know, I ran out of room in this drawer. And my alter ego stuff is actually all up here with the lip stuff. But I think the lip drawer might be moving. But that's a different video. This drawer right here. <laughs> I'm in this drawer all the time, y'all, when I'm doing my makeup. Um, I'm keeping all my Anastasia stuff, my Natasha Denona, my Artist Couture which are all these palettes here. Um, my Huda Beauty collection is growing. I got this in my BoxyCharm last month, and then I bought these two myself. But I got a good deal on them. And then these are my Norvina, the large ones. And then there's the little Natasha Denona ones. And then my other ones are here. I bought all those myself. This drawer here, uh, y'all, I remember last time I got rid of this? Well, she found her way back. <laughs> um, I really think I need to just let the Retro Paradise go. It was pretty. We had fun. But it's not a favorite that I reach for, y'all. And I will tell you, I lately, if it's not going to last on my eyes all day long, I'm not going to wear it especially if I need my makeup to last and we can talk about that in a video but like that's the reason I have I don't really get rid of any of my high-end stuff because if it lasts all day I'm gonna keep it you know what I'm saying I can't get rid of these Milani ones even though they reformulated and stuff I just still love those so I think I've got some more palettes in this one. I am going to get rid of Trendsetter because I don't reach for it. This one is so pretty. And then that's my Shop Miss A one. And then back here I have a, sorry guys, Coastal Scents, which it's still a really good palette. I'm going to keep it. And then this one, I keep this because BU Beauty was one of the first companies to ever work with me. And sadly, the pandemic caused this company to go out of business, but they will always hold a special place in my heart. 
So I'm definitely keeping that. These two I have because I've never done my full face of Italia Deluxe. Let me know down below if you want to see me do that. Um, keeping everything in here. Keeping everything in there. You guys will look at my concealer drawer. I'm still so proud of myself. <laughs> now I did pick up a couple more products that I forgot to tell y'all about. So I did get the Flower Beauty Spotlight, which this is supposed to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury, they're saying. And then I also picked up her Chrome Crush Pressed Pigment Mousse. I think it's a mousse. So hopefully I'll be doing a video on those soon. And then I did pick up another LYS and I picked it up in a lighter shade. So this one will be for when I get my tan on and the other one will be for now. I don't think there's anything in this drawer that I'm ready to get rid of yet. Um, the reason I won't get rid of this, you guys, right here, the number seven, is because I need to repurchase it. And so that's kind of like my reminder. Repurchase it and you can get rid of it. <laughs> Same with this drawer. I'm not ready to let anything go. Um, so yeah. Keeping, keeping, keeping. All right, you guys, so quickly, <laughs> I got rid of 29 palettes. So happy about it. It feels good. Um, I don't feel like there's anything that I wanna put back in my drawer. Don't mind the floor, guys. My studio is a pigsty and it needs to be cleaned. Um, the other day, I actually decluttered some mascara, so I just thought I'd throw them in this video. And yeah, I'm so happy with all the stuff that I decided to let go of. Now, it's not a lot. And honestly, I feel like I'm missing a drawer or two, but I mean, I went through all my palettes, so I think I've just gotten rid of quite a bit, you know? Thanks for hanging with me, y'all. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. You don't wanna miss out on any future uploads. And um, I want to say thanks for taking time out of your busy day as always to hang out with me. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.